Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECEO. I'm Reality TV, and this is Reality. What up, Reality TV What's in the up, building? Y'all? What's up? What's Mr. up? Mr. Maker, where she at? She ain't here. I think she on her patio. Oh, okay, yeah. She out there cooking. That's her chill. Man, damn that, man. It's time to work, man. I got a guest in there today. He don't need no introduction, man. Listen, man, I'm not for to play with y'all. This guy right here, man, he is different than most. I ain't never seen this. This, this guy right here, the, he all the way cut. What's going on in Houston, man? Mm hmm. Norman North is in the building. What the hell is going on in Houston, guys? Woo! Man, thank you for... Yeehaw! We in Texas, man. I got to come out that hat, see? I be playing tricks with their mind. Um, I noticed a long time ago that when I didn't wear my hat, they just thought I was a rapper, so they'll scroll past my videos. So I start throwing that, that cowboy hat on, even though I'm really from the country, so I don't like none of that. It's engraved in me. I don't need a cowboy hat. I don't need to have on no cowboy tie. But I realized that that was the only way they was going to stop and listen because they've been scrolling right past rappers and I'm black. So I fit this rap real section. So it's like, man, I wanted them to stop. When I came out that hat, everybody, first five minutes, first five seconds, they got to stop and see me. And then when they hear that music, they hook. But that's how I started. Man, listen, man. I'm going to tell you something, man. I was watching the Grammys the other night. Mm -hmm. And I seen Beyonce. And she had a hat on just like yours. Mm -hmm. And both of y'all from Texas. Right. I'm trying to understand. And Mexican OT. That Mexican mm -hmm. OT. Yeah. It's a bunch of cowboy hats going on over there. I see them at the rodeo with mm -hmm. Bun B. Right. It's a whole bunch of cowboy uh, uh, hat wearing, music slanging. What's going on? What's in the water down there? Well, it's really in us. Like, a lot of people be on some, oh, you just started this during the Super Bowl. And it'd be like, no, I've been trail riding since I was a baby. Right, real You talk. feel me? But a lot of the stuff that people deem as, oh, he got this hat on, oh, he country, I don't even be, I didn't done it so long to where it's like, I'm just country. I was born to, I don't need no hat. I don't need no attire to let you know I'm country. Yeah. When it's really in you, it's in you. Man, listen, man, I'm from Texas, man. It's real serious. I'm going to mm -hmm. be honest with you. It gets so serious that whatever I catch, I eat down here sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm For a sure. country nigga. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might go fishing. Right. I don't know. I might yodel while I'm fishing. See, y'all don't know nothing about that. For sure. You young niggas don't know nothing about yodeling. See, right. I'm a country nigga that might go craw dead hunting. Mm -hmm. See, I'm different. I might go and get a bucket and drag it across the creek and get me some crawdads and go and cook them. Right, right. No, you real southern. Yeah, I do this for real. I'm right. from Caddo Lake, really. Mm -hmm. Right by Louisiana and Texas where it meets. It's a lake. The only right. lake, really a uh, natural lake in Texas. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, five miles from there, you come up, you see me. Mm -hmm. And I might have some fish on the strain. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I had to tell a, 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 a chick the other day, though? Um, she was like, you kind of country. I was like, man, listen, love, I done seen the world. I was like, don't ever confuse it. I'm from the country, but I ain't slow. At all. And and that's what the world got to understand. Like, this this just like a, it's like getting a, a degree, and that's just a part of your portfolio. You feel me? That don't mean that I ain't city. That don't mean that I ain't uh, intelligent. That just mean I know how to survive in 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 a, in a rural in a in a un uh in a in the dark place as well. You feel me? So I'm well I'm well around. I ain't gonna lie. I heard you doing country. I know Beyonce just dropped this 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 whole thing and it's done with number one. Mm -hmm. uh, um, this ain't Texas uh, right. going in. Right. What do you feel about that? How do you what do you think when you think about Beyonce? You know, doing a country song. A lot of people's upset about that. I love it. And the only reason I'm saying that is A is Beyonce. You know, a lot of people don't know this Beyonce mom, ain't he? I didn't even know y'all was related. Yeah, that's my aunt. But How, wait a minute. <laughs> the stardom is real. Yeah, yeah, nah, that's my aunt. So it runs down the bloodstream. Yeah. Hit the heart. Everything yeah. working. B. Auntie. That's why okay, okay. And and let me ask you this. Every hood got a Beyonce. Every hood got a Beyonce, huh? Damn. But hold on, let me say this. I love it because when Beyonce started country, every comment I get is saying, here's another, here's another 
Super Bowl country artist, like somebody who started country since Super Bowl. I love that she did it because all of the black people that's open to it now, all she did was open everybody's mind to this actual genre. I've been doing this since 2019, bro. I, I know, man. You talked about this before. 2019. This five years in. I got a real country manager from Nashville, and, and we really been working for the last five years. But I love how Beyonce opened everybody's mind to finally see me. Because at first, they were just acting as if I ain't exist. You know what I'm saying? And I actually, to make sure that I didn't give anybody a chance to shut me down, I changed my alias. I changed my name. I made sure I operated in a different name because I didn't want to give black people a chance to tell me this wasn't what's up. I knew it was going to become what was up. I knew it was what's up. I, I'm from here. It's in me. I ain't want nobody to kill my dreams. And I see in our culture, sometimes we kill each other's dreams. So for somebody to be like, oh, Beyonce going to country, that's lame. Why she doing? Man, we be so opinionated on everything. I ain't, where I'm from, I ain't, I, I had a partner call me the other day, shot at the Baldini. He called me, man, Joe's had to get on somebody's ass, bro. I was like, why? He was like, they was like, man, you see country, you see Joe doing this country music, bro. He be doing that twerk shit, da, da, da. And he said, man, I had to get on that nigga ass and tell him, Bro, what would you do if you had to feed your family? And I was like, damn, you told him that? He's like, yeah, nigga, I told him you made club music and twerk music. You had to do what you had to do to feed your family, but you country. You been at the trip. I trail ride with Bob Dina, all my people from Brookshire. We've been trail riding since we was babies. So these people I already know who I am, but they know it's just a, a part of me. It's not like that's who I am. I got other ams. Goddamn, I ain't just am. You ain't even just call me Norman North and think I'm finna just be okay with nah. Piss some respect on my name. Call me a PV graduate. That's call me DJ Chose. Call me a platinum producer. Call me a platinum songwriter. Call me everything. Bro, just know I did what I had to do to feed my family. And I'm also doing what I gotta do to feed my family. And I'm also doing what feed my soul. So when it comes to Beyonce, man, whatever feed her family, feed her soul, feed her personality, whatever she feel like she gotta <clears throat> do before she retire, do that shit. Be goddamn I don't give a damn be go. Yodeling around this bitch. Do yeah, what you got. yeah, yeah. But I, I know that you know it is a thing where people might somewhat be confused mm -hmm. because they're not. We're multi talented. Mm -hmm. Facts. Black people are multi talented. Have been for many, many years. Uh, people have seen creating things, building countries, built this country. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't surprise me when black people decide to do multiple things multitasking in different crafts and different genres of music. That that's normal to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But let me ask you this and I'm gonna move forward. Like like will there ever be a twerk song from Norman? No. You might get you yeah. a nice little line dance or something, but to be honest with you, I got a I got a duty. I got people who really gave me a chance. Um, and when you love a genre so much, I've took, I've accepted and I took the responsibility to make sure that I never disrespect the genre and the culture of what country is. Like, I don't want to mix the two, intertwine the two. I don't want to confuse people. You can get that in my rap, but over here, I'm going to write a song. I'm going to give you some substance. I'm going to give you some, some emotions. I'm going I'm to share who I am with you. Now, if you get you a nice little club record that hit, that's good. But what you ain't going to get is me playing in this genre like like some of the other people who have came in, got a little money and love. Like, I feel like it's my duty to come in and make sure I continue the legacy for other people who don't want to be a rapper, who don't want to be NBA Youngboy, who don't want to be Drake, who don't want to be uh, Lil Wayne. You know, it's going to be people in this world that don't want to be a rapper. And I want black people who want to do country to be able to come to country and survive instead of them being like, oh, we can't give them a chance because of what Lil Nas did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to play with the genre like that. So you, well, you, well, you definitely, as DJ chose, make twerk music. Right. But you're saying you're so serious about this side of where you're riding a wave of change with country that you would never, you know, pretty much contaminate it with twerk. That's why I separated the two. Because I knew I wasn't ready to stop getting DJ Cho's money, but I knew I was ready to develop and become something great as an artist. And 
I didn't want the two to be confused because in our culture, if you give them everything as one, you're going through a judgment process for a long time. I've been judged. Every time I would post up people, why you want to drop it from your DJ Charles page? And I just knew, like, man, if you won't come follow me right now, if you didn't seen it and you won't come follow me, if you if I'm not worth two follows, then you're not a strong enough fan for me. Yeah. I need them 17. Right now I got 18,000 followers that – some of them follow DJ Charles and Norman. Them the ones I want. I want somebody who that passionate enough about me to understand, hey, I fuck with them over here and I fuck with them over here. That's I real. come to either show. Yeah. But I don't want to have to be the popular right off the top. I'm popular. I'm DJ Charles and I do country now. Nah, I ain't confusing nobody like that. I'm Norman North over here. And um, I'm going to give y'all my emotions over here. I'm going to write you a song. I'm going to share my pain with you. I'm going to share my love. I'm going to share everything. I'm going to give you some positivity, some uplifting stories. And over here, I'm going to give you what you want. And that's some feel-good music. You feel me? Now, if I ever collab, that will be one thing. But you ain't just never going to catch me out here. Look at that ass! <laughs> <laughs> Keep shaking that ass. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, I just feel that. like it shows that you are uh, versatile. That's all. That Thank you can love. do different things. That's it. I appreciate you. And yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. really trying yeah, to grow up. It. Yeah, that's all. You evolving. That's uh, all. When you think about uh, country music, you know, it's dominated by people who don't look like us. Right. How has it been dealing with, you know, the crossover? Has has race, beca has it ever became an issue? Do people look at you in a way to where they say, oh, he just, I had a girl on here the other day. I said, do they ever ask you, is you trying to act black? Because right. she danced with C4S. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm asking you, do they give you problems in this space when it come down to country music and you being a brother trying to do it like Darius Rucker who yeah. came from Hootie and the Blowfish? Right. I've, I've definitely experienced racism already. Wow. What? Yeah. Explain. Um, A while back I had a session. And um, in the session, my manager had set it up, shot at the Lex. My manager white, but he, he from Nashville, cool one of the first people to ever accept me in 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 the Nashville space. So he he'll move in a shake. He set up a lot of sessions for me that week. This particular session, though, I got there. It was a vibe. We wrote a smash, right? But while I'm on that cut, you know, I can't really sing. I use auto tune. I ain't gonna say I can't sing. I can melodically hold a tune. I just don't sound like them. And I also don't sound like Chris Brown. I sound like Norman North. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So while I'm in the session, they, I'm like, hey, man, can I just let me come to the computer? I can record myself so we can move through this process faster. They're like, bet. Well, when they say bet, they come to the back and get on the couch. I go to the computer. One over here, one over here. While I'm on the computer recording the session, they texting back and forth saying slick shit while I'm singing. And then they like saying other shit that just don't fit why I'm there. And as they saying it, I don't want to disclose it because I ain't got no problem with them. I, I've learned that it ain't their fault. You feel me? That's just the text messages are coming on the computer because he forgot that the conversation is popping up on his iMessage. And I'm literally reading, but my, my inner demon is wakening. And I'm cutting this record, but I'm also... I don't know if you ever been in a mode where you like, yo, demon time, wake up first. But then when you start seeing certain shit, your soul start hurting. Your inner, like, my inner soul was hurt so bad that I couldn't say nothing to them. And when I left, I knew that it's crazy. I shut the fuck up that day, and I asked my manager, like, he was like, man, I would have went the fuck off. And in my inner soul, you want to know why I ain't say shit? Why? I knew this was bigger than me. That's big. I knew you it was bigger than me. You gotta know. I knew I was just the. I'm the. I'm the. I'm one of them vessels that, when it's all said and done, and that young kid coming. Number ones. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be that person that. I'm. I can't wait to shake his hand and say, "Hey, bro." I was silent to make sure that you made it. Pop your shit. Pop your shit, twin. <laughs> Wow, I think I think that's dope, man. Um, the one thing I can say is you're going to have some adversities when it comes down to dealing with something that has been dominated for years by mm -hmm. our white constituencies. Right. You know what I mean? So that's to be that's to be 
That's you should already expect that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But can you survive it? Can you can you can you overlook? Can you oversee it? That you why, know what I mean? Can you excel in the midst of it? That why I had to. That why I had to just kind of. I just kind of had to Martin Luther King the situation. That's but it. at the same time, you know, I I I'd be a lot to sit here and talk about the races and not the racism and not tell you about the motherfuckers who accept me because I ain't gonna lie, I didn't seen so many people who done been happy mm-hmm. to be in the room with me. Like man, I love the way you sound. I love the way you. I love who you are. I love the fact that you don't change when you get in here. You still gonna rock your change. You still gonna. You don't talk. You not pitting on this. This twang just for me. You still hood. I love it. I got so many people who are white that I done did sessions with that I go to Nashville and link with regularly. And these people are very accepting of me. So I just see it both ways. It's it's a few. It's gonna be it's gonna be some uh hurdles, but it's been a smooth ride as well. I know I know Beyonce, your auntie and everything, but Lane and Wilson or Beyonce, who who the thick is? You know, Beyonce been working out, but Laney, <laughs> Laney like she th- 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 she made me stutter. <laughs> you were supposed to do it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she make you stutter. Now nah, Laney thick. Shout out to Laney. Uh, Beyonce beautiful. Laney, everybody, let me be quiet. <laughs> It's okay, video. You you basically uh, you use a uh, you don't just use um, you don't use white models like you know the traditional people who get in the country. Mm-hmm. When I look at Darius Rucker and when I look at all of his his videos and stuff, mm-hmm. they he use mostly white. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, models. Um, you use black models, right? How do you? What made you do that? Is there a reason behind it? So, I'm still hood. And when I say that, I mean, like, it ain't going to ever change. Um, I'm still me. I still like what I like. I also got videos with white models. And I like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, it's weird. It's like, in my household, I wouldn't rate. Like, my mama, she told me about how things could go. I got an uncle who, in, in the pen, he did, he, he signed for 70. Okay. Over over a rape case, hey. and I know my uncle was a player. You feel me? But he was caught in a weird situation. So early on in life, we was always with briefed. a white girl. White girl. So we was always briefed by my mama, but my mama never tried to steer me no way. She just told me to look into a person's heart. If you know who you're dealing with, then you know who you're dealing with. So I ain't never been. My mama didn't try to colorize me. Like I see everybody for who they are. You feel me now? She also let me know, like, hey, everybody ain't who they appear to be, so be careful with that. But I'm just saying, like, I, I like black models because that's true to me, and I do like white models because that's true to me too. But on the majority level, you just gonna see me rocking with what I rock with on the majority level. Uh, that makes sense. All right, make 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 a lot of sense. So basically, you just stand true to who you are, yeah. and I feel like people gonna respect you more when you stay true to who you are. For so sure, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, they definitely gonna stay. Um, you you know, have you ever been on stage and you get caught off guard and and you become you know Norman North in the middle of a DJ chose uh, event? Other way around. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the, the other way around though. <laughs> because I heard they get a little wild in the country uh, yeah. concerts sometimes. They can go now. crazy. The other way around, for sure. Like, I done been on a Norman North show and that DJ shows come out. And it's because people think country means depressed. Man, these people would be the most littest people mm-hmm. at their shows. They energy, it, it be the, in the air, it be to the roof. So I think a lot of people just don't understand what it actually mean yet. When It's like, I wish we can do away with the word country. And just call it like Southern or like something different. You that know, that's why they don't want your ass in there, right there. See, Cause they, yeah, because you're gonna try to figure out a way to do something different. Because you, you gotta understand these folks serious about this. What they've laid I'm down. I'm gonna tell you why music. I say that. Though. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna want you to change their shit. I'm gonna tell you why I say that. It's a lot of people out here that when you say country, it ain't no true definition. Tell me one person that can give a definition for what country is. Cause your country different from mine. Yeah. My country different from yours. 
our country different from theirs. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is, it's almost like this word gives it this connotation that we don't, nobody truly understands. It's like, okay, what's the what's the industry standard then? What is the midst of that other than you could have been born in the middle of nowhere. I could have been born in the middle of nowhere. He could have been born in the middle of nowhere. She could have been born in the middle of nowhere. And then when we all get right here, I see it so often on the trail ride scene. Where That's real. You get out there and it's like, Oh, I'm a, I'm a real cowboy. I'm a real cowboy. I'm a. I got a better horse. Like, it'd be like Nick. We all country, but they don't. Some trail ride groups look at their country different from that country. Oh, he don't work the same job I do. He don't. Mm-hmm. He ain't at the feed store every day. He ain't country enough. Man, these things. It's, it's like a. It's like a metric that ain't no true metric too. So when I say that, I just mean when I say what I'm saying. I'm saying like. In country, you got people who lit. You got people who like, oh, I don't like all that old rowdy country. So it just turns into, man, what does this word really mean? Because it it don't mean depressed. Like I know a lot of people, I don't like country music because it's, it's sad, it's depressing, it's old school. It's, man, you ain't heard half this shit out. It's some shit that's fire. You ever heard Morgan Wallen? That shit lit. He hard. You ever hear Luke Combs? Hard. You ever heard Norman North? Hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And I'm just saying that to say, like, man, even the new artists, you got Sean Stimley, Taylor Austin, Die, it's a girl named Tanner, it's a guy named Will, uh, Willie Jones, is my bro. Man, these people hard, bro. And, and they not depressed. No, no, they're not depressed, but it's a lot of country music singles that is depressed, and all they talk about is dying and killing and getting drunk, <laughs> and it's a lot of that, too. It's a lot of this crap that ain't really feasible to lift nobody's spirit, but it's keep them drowning in sorrow. And then it is some upbeat stuff, too. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff out there when it comes to country. That's just like saying. rap, it's the same thing. It's just people expressing their emotions and saying, you know what? Nigga, this is who I am. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the same thing. It ain't? It ain't the same thing. This is why I'm about to hurt your feelings. Go ahead. Uh-oh. I want to hear this. I'm going to tell you why. Why? You, you want to know why rap to me is failing? Or what you say it's failing? It's failing. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. The reason why I say that is because every other genre, including country, we sitting here, not we, People are mad Beyonce dropped a country record, yeah, right? Yeah. They mad I didn't drop the country song. Country still got like a a, a great wow. Sense of pride. Man in rap. To respect what they when the created last, in country. When the last time have we been mad at somebody Chinese for being successful in rap? We not gonna throw an attitude. When the last time have we denied somebody white for rapping? When the last time have we denied somebody um I don't know. You name it. We not denying nobody. We not going to deny nobody. So when I say it's different, I'm going to give you one even better. Ain't no slow, successful country artist. When I say that, I watch interviews. I watch. I didn't see. I ain't going to say no names. I didn't see bro on, a, on three, four Percocets. And, 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 I didn't see some slow Guys do interviews and rap. Man, you're not finna get that in pop. You're not finna get that in country. You're not finna get that in Afro beats. Ain't nobody coming in on the drug, leaning. You'll see it with Kodak Black. Damn. You're right. You'll see it with every other. You'll see it with Young Boy. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I I love these niggas, but I'm just saying, in rap, ain't no, we don't got that person to tap nobody on the shoulder to say, hey, young, young man, um, you out here representing us. So we actually we fuck with that. Like I feel like rap getting slower and slower. It's some music out right now I can't understand the words. Be hard. I don't know what they saying. And guess what? You wanna know what that do to the industry? You see, we in a DJ Cho's interview now. After this, I'm getting out of this. What that does is now my little partner from the hood who ain't got no talent. Guess what he wanna do with his twenty five hundred dollar uh, income tax shit. He slows all our deals. They get what he want to do. You want to the studio? He finna go get him a chain and go to the studio. He trying to go back. So I want to get one of them beats. Man, what can you do if I, yeah, I do, whatever. 
And we just giving them beats. We giving them hope. We giving them. And guess what? The music just keep getting dumber and dumber. You know, bro, that didn't, bro, that didn't, he quit school at eighth grade. He rapping right now. Damn. That's so true. That's so true, man. What What about, let me ask you this and go, get, get you back on Norman North. Like, I, you and Kevin Gage, y'all got a great chemistry. Do you think y'all, you will ever, as Norman North, work with Kevin Gates? I think I will. I think Kevin Gates, one of my favorite songs by Kevin Gates is Hard Folk, and it sounds like a country song. And I every time we talk, I, I be like, man, that Hard Folk sound like a country record. And he be like, you like that? I actually, I ain't going to say too much, but I think I could probably get Kevin Gates to... Probably he probably will do anything I ask at this point. Like we, he ain't never did me no favors, but I will say, I'm gonna say he ain't never charged me. Yeah, of course. But he, you know what I'm saying. I always return the favor, so I think I can get him to do anything at this point. Like we, we just that deep in on as far as, man, I. I got you on this, and he got me on that. Like I, I feel like we, it's a swap somewhere within, and I think he actually liked the genre too between me and you. Wow, um, producing uh, as um, Norman North versus producing as DJ Chose, what's the difference? Um, producing as Norman North comes with a lot of extra. I got a lot of extra instrumentation, people that really do more than me. As DJ shows, I make the whole beat. As Norman North, I got a guitar, I got a I got a, a pedal steel player, a dobro player. My my country manager come in, mix the records and kind of like give it the feeling like we really end up doing the works on one DJ, I mean Norman North record, I can come out at three bands. On a DJ Cho's record, uh, I might sell it as soon as it's made, and it might have took me twenty minutes to make, and it ain't cost me a dime. Mm. So it's just more of an investment. Like people that think they finna just jump in country and have a great time, good luck. Get ready to spend some money if you want it to sound correct. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Not only that, I done also made the money in country. Like people don't know that I'm probably like twenty, thirty million streams in. Wow. Yeah, my number's there. Um, and I'm not talking about from a never been signed to a label. I don't have a record label. I've been independent this whole time. Wow. That's heavy, man. I think that's commendable, too. You know, when you look at just uh, people who, you know, have tried to do things, a lot of times that that second L for the flop. Like, people mm -hmm. don't make it. Like, they try, but ain't nothing wrong with that. But a lot of times, I mean, Michael Jordan tried to, what, play baseball? Mm -hmm. it, it didn't work. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people try other things and it, and it, it do, just does never, it never equates to the greatness in the first thing that they started. You, you know, know what, what I mean? I, mm -hmm. You know what I tell anybody though? What's that? Whatever you do gotta be in you. A lot okay. of times people wanna do something that's just like a trend. Like people mm -hmm. think I'm doing the trend right now and I'm laughing because I'm like, no, this in me. I, I be doing what's in me. That way if I fail, it didn't mean nothing. It's like my failure won't even be like, damn, I took that one on the chin. Like it's like, my failure in this would be like, I was just being myself. You know what I'm saying? I, you ain't never gonna go wrong for being yourself. If you That's fail, right. you just like, shit, I was, it wasn't like I was practicing. This was this was who I am. Mm -hmm. There wasn't no failure, nigga. That was life. That was a part of my journey. Mm -hmm. That's real. Mm -hmm. So if I don't make it, it's like, man, it's just a part of my journey. Who's to say I'm not gonna just do this all the way out either? You know what I'm saying? It's What is failure when it's a part of you? You right. What's the top three um top three country artists of all time? Dead or alive. You gonna go all time? I ain't got that one for you. Yeah, you got to give me that. I can give you top three songs I love. Top three artists. I can't go there with you because it's a lot of older music and it's a lot of people that people Who you like, Kenny Roger, nigga? <laughs> nah, so here you hear me. Yeah, Kenny Roger. Now, I know you're talking about. I you know don't know about. Kenny Rod, Dolly Parton, who is I, I go all the way in. No, that's what I'm saying. I couldn't. <laughs> Charlie Bride? That's who you like. No, I listen <laughs> that to ain't who. who I, I, no, I like, I, if I had to pick, I'm picking, uh, I'm not going to pick, uh, no, no, I'm picking Darius Rucker. 
That's what I'm saying. That's who I'm going with. That's that's you. I got to go with Darius. That's what I'm saying. Well, shit, I got to be number two then. Because yeah. it sounds like you, you ain't picking from, from your musical <laughs> like. Nigga, you picking from your heart and your soul. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah. You number two, nigga. Okay. <laughs> and Beyonce number three. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm nigga, top three of all time right there. It ain't hard for me. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah, I see Y'all left K. But, Michelle out because K. Oh, Michelle. Oh, K. Michelle, is, Michelle hard. Yeah, I she love K. Michelle. Thing. I, yeah, yeah, but she don't not, not no out. Beyonce. I'm not going to go but that way. But don't leave out. Though. Hey, but she hold on. I, I said what I said. And I see Anybody that got something to say about Beyonce, nigga, I go ballistic. I don't play about her. I don't care. She, I'm not going there with y'all. For real? If me anybody neither. Because I know how the beehive is. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, anybody I see say, me, but see you they come. know I'm straight up Beyonce. I ain't going to lie to you. Megan the Stallion. Fanatics. Hit me. You know I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to start the, I the bridge. Who? <gasps> Nikki. Nikki cool, but, uh, but Ooh, we in Texas. No. I love Nikki. But I just make sure I'm gonna make sure we put a clip in where he say he, Nikki no, his girl. No, it's the truth. I'm Nikki make sure is I my girl. This. I ain't. But you gotta yeah, understand. That, when, since all the stuff fell apart, you oh, know, that PMC. Man, when I, she said that, oh yeah, man, crazy. that was tough right there. Yeah. That was a tough <laughs> blow. We but talk, I still love Nikki. You got me bent. We but, talking about country. But, I don't know none of the people we talking about. Oh yeah, you did go there. Yeah, but you, you know, did. see, Beyonce <laughs> threw me for a loop. Hit me out. That boy slid me in the dirt. Hit I'm in the out. ditch right now. But you got we talking to Norman. You gotta be careful, cause K Michelle, my god mama. That's why I don't want you well, to do all this. Beyonce, your sister, nigga. No, no that's Annie. Oh, Annie. Oh, Annie. Annie. And I really like I love K Michelle. And if you if you pay you attention, like she thick. Thick, 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 thick. No, she she, thick, she took but, her boot out. But she still thick. Man, yeah. this is not the interview for all I'm sorry. I'm my bad. I keep Listen. K Michelle got some of the best. Country music, cause she really good with the pen. But let me leave this alone. She's a dope artist all around when it comes down she to she yodel too. Yeah, she a dope artist. That ain't that without question. I, what, how did I start this whole interview off? What did I say about us, us our people? L let me give. They you are very talented, bro. Yeah. They, this it, is. I mean, I, I started singing one day, and I never forget it. This white girl, you know what she said? What she say? Can all y'all do that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I say, yeah, we all, yeah. We talented, buddy. <laughs> you know, all you guys do that. I say, yeah. That's what crazy. we do. That's crazy. Yeah, we do this. That's crazy. And I probably was saying in country. I don't know. Well, my top, my top three the same as yours. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you crazy. Well, hey, no, listen, Norman North, man. I'm definitely, man. I'm, I'm feeling the vibe. I love the way you come out. You always had a hat on, and then you'll take the hat off. I be wanting you to do that whole thing with that hat on. I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you. Just go all the way in. Do you play the guitar as well? I was practicing. You better get a guitar because you got the thump <laughs> on that thing. I'm going to tell you the truth. You got it? <laughs> I had got the best gift I ever got before, right? It was like my birthday. And, man, this beautiful woman brought me some guitar lessons. And I just, I didn't know women still gave a fuck about the gifts they give us. You know, a lot of women just, just, hey, nigga, here goes some draws. You be like, damn, I made some draws? You know what I'm saying? You just went to, you just went to TJ Maxx on me and just got me some heel figure draws and said, Come on now. Man, she got me some guitar lessons and I start learning chords. I know about, I know how to do like two, three songs, but honestly, that guitar ain't what people think it is. It's a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's nothing you gonna pick up and learn in two days. So I just be practicing. And I still practice, and I'm just learning. But it ain't nothing. I'm rushing, man. Listen, when you want to, if if anybody think they about to get in this and overnight it, good luck. This some long haul shit. I never. I started five years ago. I my first year in country was amazing. I made like fifty bands, right? And I'm thinking, oh, it's up from here. No, man, this shit a long haul thing, and this ain't no shit that I'm finna be like. Oh, I gotta be done with this by. By 40. No, when 40 hit, I might be the hottest in the game. I'm, no, for real. Look at Jason out here. Man, them boys, them boys is Serious. 45, hey, about serious. to be 50. Them serious. Having their way. Serious. Mm -hmm. Having that money, too. Having their way, man. This money ain't coming in. You don't got to rush it. In the name of country music. Residual income. Hey, residual <laughs> income. <laughs> hey, man. Listen, man. 
Norman North is in the building, guys. Make sure you guys check him out. Um, make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe to Boss Talk 101 as well. Make sure you get in the comments. Let us know what you think about Norman North and what he's basically uh, really doing. Like, it's not the norm. You don't see many crossover artists when it come down to different genres of music like he's doing. So, man, make sure you get in the comments, but also go check him out. Don't just make an assumption on his music. Uh, and, and yeah, he used auto-tune. Yeah, I do. But, but... But can you, you gonna sing, hold that, you gonna hold you that against him? Can, can I speak you on sing? that real quick? Go ahead. The number one comment I get is auto tune, auto tune, auto tune. Real country doesn't equal auto tune. And I just wanna let people know I'm a songwriter. That's what I do. I'm a songwriter. I'm 15 times platinum as a songwriter. Ooh, you better talk your shit. I'm, I'm going to talk. <laughs> 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 All in, the only thing in my life I ever had was a pen and some experiences. I don't. I never said I was Chris Brown and Michael Jackson. All, all I can do to y'all is share my emotions, my feelings, my pain, my happiness, my experiences. If you can't get over me sharing that with, with a little auto-tune on it, then I'm not for you. That's why you got all them other guys who don't use it. But what I'm going to share with you, these songs I'm going to write, this is really me. And um, a lot of them other people... They got amazing songwriters. They never been through half of that. They stories ain't gonna hit you the same. But this, you getting me and my experiences. If you don't like my auto tune, then I don't like you. Thank you. Wow, that's man. Listen, I, I get it, bro. Like I said, I just appreciate you for coming on the show. Could you tell me, uh, like, how can people get a hold of you? They trying to reach out? Yeah. Uh, follow me at Norman North. I got a website, normannorth.com. Um. I've been having that website since 2019 for everybody to think I'm a newcomer. And if you know, like I know, uh, one of the first steps in business when you get that website, it ain't cheap. Especially one that's a college. Norman North is actually a, it. that's my real name, but it's a college. Mm. Kyle Norman North. Wow. And I had to beat them out to get that, <laughs> to get that, uh, Website. So it cost me a, a, a lot of bread. Stop playing. <laughs> hey, man. Thank you, Norman North, for coming on the show, man. Good show. Say, man, make sure you guys get in these clips, man. They're coming make up sure right after this. Make sure y'all get that membership, too. Hey, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is dope.